All right, let's uh, walk through the installation of the Drobo dashboard. Uh, I've already installed the uh, uh, drives. I am not installing the MSATA SSD card, as I mentioned in the unboxing. I decided to skip that for now, uh, it was, as it was recommended for uh, really if I was using the Drobo for my primary storage of all kinds of files uh, and be running Word, Excel, PowerPoint, Photoshop, whatever off of it, uh, smaller file sizes. Predominantly this is going to be a massive central backup storage and a place to stream uh, video and audio from and apparently those file sizes are large enough that uh, the MSATA doesn't really give you the uh, boost for your buck. So I skipped it for now. You can always edit it in later. I've already inserted the drive, see a previous video for that and uh, so we will take a break while I go down uh, and connect the cables and turn on the power. And of course, I will hide the uh, setting to use administrator, username and password, and then we'll go back for uh, the setup and use of the Drobo uh, shares. Anyway, let's start with the uh, installation of the Drobo dashboard. Already installed the, or downloaded it here. Walk through the installation. Yep, doing English. Yes, Windows, I really do want to do this. So the documentation on the uh, site is uh, quite thorough. So go to the Drobo N. This is where I got the download for Windows. Get the firmware if I need to upgrade that. I'm probably, given that I just got this, hopefully I won't need uh, new firmware. And I'm, using, I'm showing the Getting Started guide right here. So, so far they've done a good job of providing me all the tools and the resources I need, A, to make the purchase, and B, to use it and get it set up so far. Let's see how this goes. All right. Yes, more warnings, of course. Important, checked it, firewall, allowed, yes, okay, fine. Pretty sure I have all that set correctly. We'll see once we get it running. Uh, I don't need any special offers right now. Uh, sure, let's go ahead and put a shortcut on the desktop. Okay. So again, uh, I'm going to be using this for uh, storage of my TV shows that uh, I've gotten on DVD and Blu-ray over the years. I ripped those so that I can get to them from the network and don't always have to go room to room carrying DVDs and Blu-rays with me. I've got all my music stored online. I stream it all over the place uh, throughout my house and uh, also back up my PCs uh, centrally as well. All right. Sorry, this is not the most exciting thing, but I wanted to show the complete process start to finish, so uh, if you ever wonder how it works and how it goes, you're going to get to see it in all of its boring glory. Boring glory. It's, I like that phrase. It sounds fun. It's fun to say. All right. Okay, there's the Drobo dashboard link on the desktop. Pardon me while I take a sip of coffee. So one thing they don't have in the manual right, list right here should be uh, step one, have coffee. Or, you know, your caffeinated beverage of choice. All right, let's go ahead and launch the dashboard here. Uh, no, I'm not a big fan of the collecting of uh, anonymous data. All right, so at this point, I will be uh, needing to enter in my registration stuff. So I'm going to go ahead and break at this point, walk downstairs, and uh, plug the drive in, get it all cabled up, and then come back and show you the uh, rest of the setup from there. So check out the next video if you're not bored to tears yet. Uh, thanks.